The film opens in Italy. An American family, the Daltons, Ben, Louise, and their daughter, Agni, are vacationing at a resort. Agnes is 11, but still requires a stuffed rabbit doll called Hoppy for emotional support. Ben and Louise have trouble really enjoying their time there since the only people they talk to are a Danish couple that they find boring. Agnes loses Hoppy and starts to freak out. It is retrieved by a British couple, the Felts, Patty and Sierra, who are joined by their mute son, Ant. The Felts charm the Daltons and spend lunch with them. Ben tells Patty how the family has moved to London for his job, while Louise has given up her job for the move. Patty invites the family to his and Sierra's country estate. The Daltons later return to London, where Ben laments to Louise that he didn't get a deal with his job that he was hoping for. He also expresses concerns about Agnes's growth and her need to move on without a doll. They find a postcard from Patty and Sierra, once again inviting the Daltons to join them. They contemplate it, and while Louise thinks hanging out with people they barely know is risky, she and Ben come around on the idea. The Daltons arrive at the Felt's estate just in time for dinner. Patty shows off a goose he cooked and offers some to Louise, despite her previously telling him and Ciara that she is a vegetarian. Louise takes a bite to be polite, but spits it out when Patty and Ciara aren't looking. When Ben offers to throw out some garbage, Aunt follows him around and tries to show him that his tongue was cut out. The adults continue to hang out while Aunt and Agnes sleep in the same room. Louise overhears Aunt wailing in his sleep, but Patty and Ciara tell her that he gets over it eventually, which he does. The next day, both families go hiking in the woods. Agnes tries to go on a swing set, and Patty forcefully moves Aunt to make room for Agnes. Everyone then goes into the nearby lake, per Patty's suggestion, since Louise was complaining about neck pains. Louise starts to express discomfort to Ben, but Ciara invites them to join her and Patty out for dinner in a nearby restaurant while they have Aunt's babysitter Mujid watch him and Agnes. Over dinner, Patty and Ciara talk about their active sex life, while Louise casually mentions that she and Ben don't really have sex as much these days, to his discomfort. Patty and Ciara then joke with them by pretending to have oral sex under the table. Meanwhile, Ant brings Agnes to a bedroom where he shows a collection of watches in a drawer. One of them has a Danish inscription underneath, along with another man's name. Ant tries to keep Agnes quiet, so Mujid won't find them. They tricked him into playing hide-and-seek. Ant also shows Agnes his torso covered with bruises and scars. Before going to bed, Ben expresses his annoyance with what Louise told Patty and Ciara, adding that he hasn't gotten over seeing another man's penis on her phone before. They talk it over and hug it out while Patty spies on them. At night, Louise wakes up and goes to the kids' room to check on Agnes, but finds neither her nor Aunt. She looks all over until she finds Agnes sleeping in bed next to Ciara. She grabs her daughter and goes back to her room. As the morning comes, Louise tells Ben that Agnes sleeping in Patty and Ciara's room is the last straw for her and that they need to leave immediately. The Daltons try to sneak out quietly before Patty and Ciara can wake up, but on the road, Agnes starts to freak out again because they left Hoppy behind. Ben tries to make her get over it, but she kicks his seat and almost causes them to drive into a truck. Ben relents and drives back to the house to try and get the doll but Patty and Ciara have already woken up and seem offended that Ben and Louise tried to leave without saying goodbye. When Louise admits that she wasn't happy with what she saw the night before, Ciara apologizes and claims that she has a motherly instinct because they had another daughter, Mary, who they lost. The Daltons become sympathetic and apologize for leaving. Patty takes Ben to go fox hunting while Louise and Ciara stay with the kids. Ant tries to write a message to Agnes, but it's in Danish so she cannot understand it, and he eats it before Ciara can see it. After Ben fails to shoot the fox, Patty takes him to a quiet and open area so they can let out primal, cathartic screams. The families have lunch together. Louise gets upset when Ciara starts making comments to Agnes over the way she is eating, for which Ciara apologizes, but Patty suggests that Louise ought to apologize too. Agnes and Ant then try to show off a dance that they have been working on to the song Cotton-Eyed Joe, but Patty continues to berate Ant over his dancing, which frightens Agnes. 
Patty takes a nap, and Ant swipes his keys from him. He leads Agnes to the barn, where there is a hidden basement. In it, Ant reveals a book with pictures of other families that Patty and Sierra have met. Each of them have the couple with an unhappy child, next to another couple with their own child, with each progressive picture being the child from each previous family. Ant motions to Agnes that Patty and Ciara cut out his tongue and that they intend to make Agnes their next child after killing her parents like they did with his. Agnes takes pictures on her phone and goes to show them to Louise. Patty wakes up and Ant tries to sneak his keys back to him, but Patty notices the basement latch exposed. After Ben and Louise learn the truth, they try to find an excuse to get out of there calmly. They start to leave by telling Patty and Ciara that Agnes has had her first period, but just as they leave, they see that they have a flat tire. Patty changes it, but Agnes realizes Hoppy is missing again. Patty points out the doll is in the gutters, so Ben uses a ladder to retrieve it. Hoppy has been shredded, but Agnes just wants to leave. They try to get Ant to open the gate so he can leave with them, but Patty opens it with his keys. As they start to drive away, Agnes sees Patty throwing Ant into the lake, so Ben runs to save the boy, while Louise attempts to drive out with Agnes, but Patty closes the gate. Ben saves Ant, but Patty and Ciara now have Louise and Agnes held hostage at gunpoint. Patty and Ciara force the Daltons to give them their money before Patty attempts to knock Agnes out with ketamine. Louise uses a concealed box cutter to slash Patty's face before fighting the rifle away from Ciara. Ben manages to cut himself, Agnes and Aunt free before they make a run for it. Patty and Ciara's accomplice, Mike, shows up and shoots at the family, forcing them to run back to the house and hide. The villains go hunting the family, while Ben and Louise try to keep the kids hidden and barricading themselves in the bedroom. Ben attempts to use one of Patty's liquor bottles to light the barn on fire to get someone to notice, but he misses and drops the bottle onto Patty's car. Mike fires his gun at them and tries to make his way inside. Ben tries to kill Mike with a hammer, but Mike nearly overpowers him and impales his head on broken glass until Louise grabs the hammer and jams it into Mike's head. When Patty tries to attack, Louise sprays drain cleaner in his face, severely burning him until Ciara tends to him. The family tries to escape from the roof down the ladder. Ciara catches up to them, but Louise whacks her over the head and causes Ciara to tumble off the roof to her death, knocking the ladder down in the process. Ben climbs down and injures his leg, but manages to bring the ladder back up for Louise, Agnes, and Aunt to climb down. Patty finds them and holds Agnes at gunpoint, saying he will take her now that Ciara is dead and nobody else can care for him. He tries to kill her parents, but Agnes jams the ketamine needle into Patty's abdomen, bringing him down. Before they leave, Ant grabs a large brick. Patty expresses pride in the boy before Ant smashes his skull while screaming in rage. Ben and Louise gather Ant and Agnes into Mike's car and start to leave the estate for good. Agnes gives Hoppy to Ant to help him feel better.